There are a lot of ways a hashtag rough error can occur, and I'm going to explain what all of those ways are. Stick around to the end and learn how to fix these errors and prevent them from happening again. The central problem going on any time that you get a hashtag ref error is that the cell referenced in your formula has been deleted. And when I say deleted, I don't just mean that the data was cleared. If you think of each cell like a bucket, what happened is you didn't just empty the bucket, you threw that bucket outside in the trash can. In the example here, I've got some basic data from several different stores related to how much of each item they sold. And in column E, I've got a formula put in that's calculating the total of all of these sales. My formula is just a basic sum function with each store being referenced separated by commas. Going back to the bucket analogy, if I were to click on store three, D3 taco sales, and if I were to just clear out the data by clicking backspace or delete, you can see when I click off that the formula automatically updates and just drops out the values from store three. Now let's say instead of clearing the values, I right clicked on the store, I click delete, and then it doesn't really matter where I shift the cells, we'll, we'll just say to the left. And then all of a sudden, a hashtag ref error occurs. What I just did was the equivalent of throwing that bucket outside in the trash. I didn't just get rid of the cell data itself, I completely, completely removed the cell. When we go ahead and we look at the formula up top here, prior to deleting the cell, it said B2, comma, C2, comma, D2, but now where it said D2, there's now a hashtag ref, and that's because the cell has been completely removed. Now, deleting a cell might seem like something that wouldn't happen on accident a lot, but you should realize that there's more than one way to accidentally delete a cell. If for some reason I accidentally highlighted the entire column here, right clicked and then clicked delete, the same thing is gonna happen. This time for each total, it's missing that middle value that was previously in cell C. Another reason why this could happen is because you haven't liked the video that you're watching right now, or you haven't clicked subscribe. All jokes aside, I'm a new channel and every subscriber really helps me out. It also is pretty common for a hashtag ref error to occur whenever you're using a lookup function. And the reason for this is usually the exact same thing that we were just talking about. Of course, any lookup function needs a table array to kind of know what to return. And if I were to accidentally delete my table array tab, the hashtag ref error occurs again because this time when it's going to look for the table array, that tab is completely missing now. The big key to preventing hashtag ref errors is to just be careful what you're deleting. If you're lucky enough to notice when the error occurs, make sure that you just hit Control Z to undo what just made the error appear in the first place. Hashtag ref is just one of many errors that can happen in Excel. You need to be familiar with all of them so that you know how to avoid and fix them when they're going to occur. The video here is under five minutes and covers all of the common errors that can occur in Excel. Make sure to give that a view. Thanks for watching.